In this video, you're going to learn how to make a section view in 3D in Autodesk Revit. So right now what I have is a model of a city house. And I'm going to just adjust my visual style here real quick. So going into here, graphic display options. I'm going to take this transparency and just send it back to zero and say OK. Now I want to do some section views here in 3D. It's really not that bad. All I have to do is go up to this view cube, right click and say uh, orient to view. We're going to do floor plans and just select any of your floor plans here. Once we have that, it now creates this crop box for us to use in 3D. So I can do this and jump it up to the whole outside the box uh, of the house. And then I can actually go and crop that in on any of the building envelope and I could do a 3D section. Um, and then really from there on out, it's just click and drag points uh, to create our 3D views. From here, I can uh, essentially hide and view the elements of my crop box, and I can generate some pretty cool views from this. I would recommend uh, going into uh, file print and exporting these views as PDFs. That way you have vector line work opposed to raster. So if you bring this into Photoshop, you can scale it at any, uh, uh, at any size and you won't lose any image quality. If I wanna go back to see my crop box again, so I can change this, I just click on the light bulb in the bottom here to show the uh, parts that are hidden and I can go and I can adjust the crop box as I need. So let's say I need to generate a view um, of the second floor if I want it to be in 3D, I can get that and then turn off my view hidden elements and now I can see you know, everything else that I need. So let's say I can position this on the screen um, and then I can go to File, Print, Print, Adobe PDF. If you don't have this option, you just have to uh, install a PDF driver for your uh, printer. So that way it uh, understands that you can export as a PDF, as a print option. And then I can do my current window here and I could then go to print. If I really wanted to, I can print this at a scale in a PDF by adjusting my scale in the bottom corner then making sure in my options, my setup, that I'm doing a zoom 100% and center. So that way my scale of my drawing comes out on the PDF as well. Um, and then I can adjust paper size and all of that as well. So let's say I knew I wanted it to be pretty big. You know, I might have to adjust that to ArcC so it doesn't get clipped out as we go to do that. All right, don't forget to save and subscribe.